Hi travelers and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Pierre on the World and today I want to talk to you about a super cool application. I've been using it since 7-8 uh, months and really changed my way of traveling and my way to share my travels with the people that I love or my friend. So if you're curious, stick with me on this video. It's gonna be an in-depth review of Polar Step, this application right here. There we go. <laughs> so if you're curious, let's go and let's check it out. If it's the first time for you to check out my YouTube channel, welcome. I'm Pierre around the world and as you probably can understand from my name, I definitely love to travel. It's one of my biggest passion and whenever I can I try to travel, I try to take days off from my full-time job, my vacation, whatever, I spend it traveling around the world. The second passion is photography, so I like to share what I see. So photography for me is something that I can't miss. I always have a camera with me. And the third passion is also motorcycle. So I tend to travel by motorcycle mostly. Maybe in the future I'm gonna swap to a van, I don't know. Uh, or maybe a van plus a motorcycle. But uh, uh, this is my third passion. So probably you understood from my videos uploaded already in my channel. There are plenty of those uh, and there will be even more. So if you're curious about some of these things, subscribe and of course, let me know what you think about the previous videos. But today we are here to talk about Polar Step. Just want to mention, I'm not sponsored by Polar Step. I just wanted to uh, do a video because I wanted to share with you uh, why I really like this application and why I think it's super interesting for people who travels a lot or just for people who wants to remember, you know, their vacation, for example. So let's go and let's take a look at Polar Step. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and let's open the application. So in this case, uh, uh, this is the main screen. You see my uh, profile picture, my profile name on Polar Step, uh, which is, by the way, a sort of uh, uh, social networks for travelers. So in this case, uh, some people are following me. I follow some people. Um, of course, it really depends on your privacy setting. For me, this account is open to the world. So everybody with a Polar Step account can just follow me. And of course, I can do the same with other accounts uh, that are open to the world. Um, then we have the trips part here, the trips tab, where you can see some of my latest trips. This is the super cool stuff about this application. And you have also some statistics. So for example, here the application is telling you uh, how many continents you visited, how many countries, um, the percentage of the world that you visited, uh, the flags that you collected, uh, the total sum of everything else, which is the total sum of travel uh, since you started using the application, the further place from home, uh, and also how many days since your last trip. So the statistics are very interesting, but of course the best part is the trips, right? So let's go ahead, for example, and let's open my ride to Norway, a 45 uh, days adventure from Italy to Norway by motorcycle together with my wife. So let's take a look at the map. So this is the map. As you can see, uh, there is a white line, which is the itinerary, and there are some kind of bubbles or, you know, dots uh, with some pictures in it. Those are the steps. So for example, we opened this step. It was uh, the third day we were in Germany. There were 30 degrees. It was the 13th of August, 2022. It was freaking hot. And uh, you see, the great thing is that you can add the pictures and uh, you can add text, right? And in some cases, you can also add, for example, a recommendation or a suggestion of a place that you visited that was super cool. For example, in Stuttgart, we visited the Mercedes-Benz Museum, so you can just add it as a place to visit if you are in town. So as you can see here, also here are the pictures, a selfie of myself. And uh, how can you add a step? You just go on the white line, you look for like one of these small white dots, for example here, and then here is telling you the place and you can add it as a step. 
you can modify the step name, you can modify the arrival date, the arrival time, just be sure to modify it accor accordingly to the itinerary. You can add the photos and videos, you can add the text, and then you can add any type of restaurant, campsite, museum, etc. etc. So that's how you add a step, and that's how you build your map of the trip. Let's take a look, for example, at the trip to Japan. So here we uh, flew from uh, um, we flew from Milan to uh, Japan with a layover in Turkey. So as you can see, it's tracking also the flight, and then in Japan some additional flights, and then we were exploring the island of Hokkaido by car. So. As you can see, you can really remember all your trips in one place. Uh, you can remember the, uh, you know, the itinerary, you can add the steps, you can modify the steps, you can add pictures. I found it super cool, to be honest. Let's open my Maroc adventure, uh, solitary Maroc adventure. So I, I took the ferry from Genova, stop in Barcelona, uh, and then arrived in Morocco, in Tanger, 48 hours later. And then here you see I'm almost completing my trip. So for example here you have you know all the all the steps, Casablanca, you have you know you, you can you can modify accordingly to your you know to your interest. So that's the super cool thing. You can have it all on your phone, all in one place, uh, with pictures, with a text, uh, you know, and then you can share it of course with your friend and with your family. But it's not over because this is just uh, the way you can share your trips on your phone. But this application also lets you build a book out of it. So for example here my ride to Norway and here my book on the ride to Norway. So that's one of the things that I really like about this application. It lets you not only save your itinerary, save your trip, uh, uh, you know, you can share it with others. The others can actually see you while traveling uh, and uh, they can check your position. I would say almost real time, but you can also print a super cool book. So in this case, this is my book about my ride to Norway. Let's open it and let's see inside. As you can see here, uh, you have, uh, first of all, a detailed summary of the trip you see the, the type of uh, the you know the name of the countries we visited uh, uh, the kilometers the number of days the number of steps the many photos i saved on the book uh, and the further point from home in this case norcap here you see also the uh, map that is the same uh, that you see also from the application and then here you have uh, your book with all the pictures. So what I like is that here, for example, let's open, uh, let's go here, right? Okay. On the top, you can see the country that you were uh, visiting and the exact point you were. So for example, here we were in Denmark uh, on the West Coast. Uh, it tells you here the day in the timeline. So it was the seventh day. It was the 17th of August, uh, it was raining, uh, 21 degrees, and we were at an 11 meters altitude. Here there is my text, and here my pictures. And uh, you can do pretty much the same with all the other pages, right? So here I wrote a text, the map is going to be uh, self-populated by the application, also the data here, and that's pretty much you know, for all the other pages. The Atlantic Road was fantastic. Uh, you know, then we arrived uh, at the Lofoten. Uh, look at those pictures, awesome. I mean, um, when I received it, I was really happy about the material and the quality of the paper. So in this case, we are talking about uh, 200 grams paper, FCS certified, so it's very important. Uh, and it has a very silky, smooth touch, right? So I really like it. Uh, it feels really premium. And, uh, uh, you know, it's a, I think it's a super cool way to, to share your memories, right? With uh, your family, with your kids, with your friends. I mean, I like it. Let me know what do you think, but 
oh yeah here when we ate the king crab and uh, here when we reached Norcap, right here there we go the northernmost point of Europe it was awesome so this is the book also the quality of the uh, initial pages is uh, also really good uh, really feels really premium polar step right here and uh, that's how thick it is as you can see it's almost 400 pages right to north cup well right to norway 2022 i really really liked it i really liked it it was a super cool present for for me and my wife let's see how we can build uh, and uh, print uh, the same book directly on the application so let's go back on our phone uh, here on the top right corner you can click and find the my travel books so here we already have the uh, correct trip you can choose other trips as well but let's stick to the right to norway couple of information about the book uh, but the most important part is this one so the book comes with a cost the application is for free but if you want to print it uh, uh, it depends on the number of pages they have different prices so that's, uh, that's actually how the company made money you always get a 10 euro off uh, um, you know on the travel books you print so in my case uh, the right to norway was the 400 uh, pages for 116 euro 126 minus 10 uh, you can pay by visa google pay apple pay etc etc but uh, let's go ahead and let's do a preview so actually that's the way you are uh, modifying and editing uh, the final version of your uh, book so let's see let's wait a second so as you can see now all the pictures are being uploaded uh, on the on the book let's give a second this is gonna take probably a couple of minutes because there are more than 350 um, pictures so let's give a second and let's restart when it's done voila our travel book is ready so the very first thing is that we can check directly from our phone uh, the pre-populated uh, layout so all the pictures our text everything is made by the application but of course you can go back and you can modify yourself the travel book directly from your phone so for example you can include or not include a page you can for example move the pictures or like create different layouts so for example you want to have this picture bigger so you can just move around the pictures or for example you can just exclude this picture directly from the book you can swap in between pages so I can move like this one here this one here this one here this one here just moving the picture so you can just modify the uh, you know the layout of the pages and of course you can also remove a page or delete a page like in this case you can modify the text directly from the uh, you know from the edit uh, uh, step right here so and uh, once you're ready you can just uh, save and generate a new book and again then you can check it out and print it uh, as soon as you confirm that it's the one you are looking for so again you can uh, leave and discard in this case we leave and discard but let's suppose i made some changes i can double check directly on the book right here and once it's done I can just go on the checkout uh, where um, you know I will uh, get the final bill I can decide the quantity the uh, uh, discount is already included uh, he is calculating the subtotal uh, and uh, based on the pages so in this case is 360 uh, 396 pages so 126 euro minus 10 euros is gonna get to 116 euro continue to pay of course i'm not gonna pay because i already have the book right here but that's how you can modify and build your 
uh, travel book. You can do this uh, from your phone if you are on the go or you can do this also on your laptop. I think it's better on the laptop because you can uh, type with your keyboard, you can see the pictures uh, better. But of course uh, also this one is uh, very nice directly on the phone. We are at the end of this uh, short review and uh, tutorial on how to build a Polar Step travel book. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you already knew this application before or if it's completely new for you. I would probably add a couple of things. The first one is it takes a lot of time to build a book like this. I mean, for me, I needed to work for uh, probably three, four months, 145 steps writing, choosing the pictures in between my phone, my cameras and my drone. It was not that easy, yet uh, I think the results are really good because at the end you have nice memory first of all, you have something to show to your friend and to your family and also something that maybe in the future, I don't know, I'm gonna share to my kids, right? So it's definitely a great way to remember uh, your trips. I also like the application because it tracks all your movement uh, automatically so you know it's really nice if you want to remember your travels uh, in the future and of course it's a nice way also to uh, store pictures right directly on the application. I hope you found this uh, tutorial interesting. Let me know in the comment section if you want to know something more about this Polar Step application. Probably I forgot something but you know let me know. Uh, and uh, of course if you are interested in traveling, photography, motorcycle, uh, uh, just subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's gonna be a pleasure you know to, to receive some comments from you as well and uh, uh, see you on the next adventure. There's gonna be probably new videos coming about my Norcap travel and my Morocco solitary adventure. So stay tuned and see you on the next video.